We are now can see the red light. Yes. <laughs> That's for YouTube, by the way. So, um, well, actually, if I make a good job of explaining this, it'll find its way on the YouTube. If I don't, I'll just delete it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so we're talking about it, it, it's just controlling both limbs at once, okay? From Kishango or Kanku die. And to make it, uh, to begin with, we'll do it from a very artificial position. In a fight, you should become aware of where the arms are, and then you start moving them. Okay, but for the sake of the drill, we'll just put them in a very formal way to begin with. This arm pushes that one down, we turn so the palms of the hands are in towards the, uh, the arms themselves, so we can feel what's going on. This arm that comes underneath that one, I don't need to worry about that one at the moment because it's pushed away. I push that arm across. You've got to keep that arm up so if he tries to swing back towards me from there I can jam in or if he's to spin the other way I'll feel him move. Some styles strike high, some styles strike low. We keep the inside of the thigh and then we're moving a straight from here. And that's where we've got to, yeah? So that, that's for the benefit of the um, population YouTube, so we've caught up, right? So the next thing, I've still got the control of this arm. So I drop the arm as I went in from that strike from there. Oh yeah, one, one point, we're just chatting there. Um, if, uh, if the guy drops all the way down, so the guy drops on his knees or something like that, then again, that would be perfectly acceptable as an alternate. Still the same, same, same motion. You can also get it, in, obviously at the moment I'm not kicking the leg hard, I'm just kind of tapping it. Um, but if, if you were to kind of really drive that in, and you kind of went bang, and he falls away from you, falls away from you, that's it. You, you then wouldn't run after him to do this. <laughs> you know, you just go, okay, that was great, that worked better than I thought, okay? So you're only striking him because you need to. You should never ever do that, you know. It's, it's like um, uh, the Nakasone line, never be shackled by the rituals of cast, but instead move freely according to your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. So if you keep the leg in the boom, if he falls all the way from you, just let him do it, just leave him to fall. You start running that way. But the, the way that the, 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 the cutter shows the drill is, once it's moved here, you still got hold of this. So if we follow the cutter in, it then goes back, and you've got that. And then two, 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 two strikes from there. So one, two, three, here, there. Okay, so we're just taking the arm back, doing what we did before earlier on the cutter. I know where it's headed, so I could hit it straight away, but just for the fun of it. Your hair's probably just too short, but we'll pretend, so you pull the hair back that way. Um, for the sake of, you know, the hair's too short to do that, as we said before, just put your thumb under his nose and drive his head back from there. And then from there again, you've got your two shots, okay? Bam, bam, to finish him off with. So you better, I mean, at that point, if he's still standing, he's a good man, isn't he? You know, so it kind of, kind of goes, in theory, I mean, what should have happened is, bam, he's out. You know what I mean? But, but if it's not, because, boom, oh, he's still left here. Right? And then from there, you put your shots in to finish him off. So we're looking at it. I've got a story to tell you about pulling on the nose, but I don't want to do it on camera. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you that in a moment. You just want to ask something. Yeah, so, so we don't have a pullback when she punches the shutter. Man. We've got a 235 degree turn and dropping into a, into a double wedge block. Yeah, don't have that at all? From there? And then I thought you had that after that. Where are we? We're further in the Can't be dark, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, in, that's a good point. So in, it's in there. Yeah, exactly. So, in the, in the, uh, the, that's a good question because in the Yodan version of it, it goes there, there, and there, here, bang. Okay, now let's talk about something else. Right, remember we did that up if the grabs fail, we'll put the lock on and drop it down. So, but in, in uh, Kishanku or Kanku Dai, right, after that, it's got this here. Yeah. And Itosu, I would guess, has just gone, you know what? That's there, I don't want to worry about that for now. It's not the point I want to illustrate, so he's just left it out when it comes to his Yodan version. Okay, so the, uh, so the one will be there, here, 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 bang, up, and then from there, that's how I would go there next, okay? So that's a bit that we're, uh, we're looking at. There, here, here, here. Pull the hair back, pull the nose back, but if you want, again, just go straight for the shot. Also, if you wanted to, you could then go through all the kind of tripping stuff we did earlier. You know, so you can start folding the kind of back in on itself as well. So we're okay to have a little play with that one. So do what, exactly what you did. And then use this from here to take it back over. Okay? Awesome. Have a little play with that one for me. Put it on. Thank you. This arm here, this is the important arm. So I get from there, have a control of it as I move across. I go to here, I take the arm down, I can control it as I move back. You see how the cat is teaching us to keep control of this arm all the time. Right? So that, that, that's important. So when you're drilling it, you want to make sure you don't lose control of that arm. You know, at any point. So it never wants to kind of be, you know, because it's okay when it's letting you do it, but you, the idea is that you want to be able to feel where it is all the time. So even if you kind of, you know, let's say at this point it starts to push back up, and okay, this technique's going to work, okay, I have to be able to switch and move on to something else. You know what I mean? So, so you need that kind of feel, so you need your hands hovering around all the time. Uh, the other one is on, on the double punch. Um, 
So there, there from there to here, bam, pull back, hair pulls. Okay, what I kind of then does is, and this is, you'll see this later on the counter, hits once with the left, and then hits again with the right. right? And you know later on in the counter, depending on the version you've got where it goes, one, hits once with the right, then goes a double punch. And one side is a single, the other side is a double. My theory of that is it's saying, make sure you get a good right hand shot in. Because right? you, you've been right handed people, that's probably going to be your strongest hand. So that kind of goes, hit him with your right, bam! If you do it on the other side, you'll hit with your left. Because you're right-handed, make sure you give him a good one with the right as well. <laughs> and I think it's the same here. So what some of you, if a few of you have done this, this is why I mentioned it, it's great. Nothing wrong with it at all. So you get to there, and then you go, bang, bang. Right? And you're hitting repeatedly with your left, which is absolutely fine. But the reason the counter switches is it wants you to go and use your stronger hand. So if you're not okay with that. But if you're, if you're happy to hit with your left, just keep repeatedly hitting with it. Particularly if you're left-handed. <laughs> well, I think that's why it does it. If you notice throughout Kappa, there's always a strong right sided bias. Is everyone okay with that idea? Yeah? It just assumes that you're right handed, you'd probably be a better puncher with your right hand as a result. Okay, awesome. Just carry on with that. Keep control of the arm. Get a, get a dominant hand striking if you can. <laughs>